It's happened again and again. Car after car, drivers getting stuck inside a TTC streetcar tunnel, or as some people call it, the Bermuda Triangle for motorists. I'm Natish Pisano in front of the infamous Queen's Key streetcar tunnel where the TTC said they would build a gate after last month's incident with that blue BMW. But is this the solution? These yellow posts were installed Sunday afternoon and according to the TTC, this is only the beginning. Uh, we have done a number of things already, such as improving signage, making it bigger, um, adding additional lighting, uh, moving signage and lighting down lower, uh, but obviously even that wasn't enough, so we now are installing the barriers. Barriers that for now look like this. Yellow posts in place to prevent this from happening. According to the TTC, each time something like this happens, it costs thousands of dollars to fix. They have to pay staff overtime, deal with delays and detours, and bring heavy machinery like this crane, typically used to move rail tracks, but more recently being used to move cars. TTC spokesperson Brad Ross tweeting, additional bollards were installed this weekend at York and Queens Key to make it that much more obvious that the streetcar tracks are a no-go zone for autos. A lift gate closer to the tunnel will be installed in the coming weeks. I think it's a great start. It's a great start? Yes. Do you think it's going to be effective? I guess we'll have to wait and see when the Beamers come around the corner if they're going to look for those yellow <laughs> poles and whether they'll drive right into them, right? Now with those big yellow things, are you going to drive down through there? Yeah, there's going to be a few people, I'm sure. That looks like somebody hit it already, doesn't it? Well, that's not promising. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone has already hit that one. That looks uh, But do you think it's going to work, though? Do you think it's going to work? I think it's not so obvious. I could see myself driving down that tunnel, yeah. And despite the recent sightings of cars in the tunnel, the TTC says the number of incidents has actually gone down. So since 2014, uh, we've had uh, around 25, maybe a couple more uh, than that. Um, but but the, number, the numbers have actually been going down. Um, so that's a good sign, but obviously even just one car going in is too many. The goal now is to reduce that number to zero. Now, according to the TTC, the lift gate should come in the next few weeks. But for now, these will just have to do. At Queen's Key and York, I'm Natish Pisono, City News.